I got a new snake. Oh yeah, I got a new snake. We got a poopy. It's a poopy snake. Pee pee poo poo. Hello. Ha. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful people do today? Ooh, I got a new snake. Look, look. It's my old quarantine closet. You can't see in there. It's dark. I haven't put a snake in there in in well. Let's just say that closet has been doing nothing. Absolutely the most expensive snake I have ever gotten right here. Absolutely, definitely the most expensive snake ever purchased here by myself, Triple B. And I'm going to open it for you guys. Makeshift quarantine studio setup, how you like it? Look good? Good, thanks. I thought about opening it up beforehand, but I figured I'd bring you through the whole unboxing process, being that this is a, a JKR snake, Jacob Boca Reptiles. Thank you very much, Justin. I've been looking to get a snake from him for a long, long time. And I, I literally haven't gotten a snake in... Well, I, I got a hognose snake from my buddy Matt, but he donated that for the educational program. So I haven't purchased a snake since January 2019, which were the indigo snakes that I showed off right here in this room. I don't even remember what ball pythons I got before that. Well, like, I kind of do, I just don't remember when. So it's potentially two years plus since I've gotten a, a ball python, a new ball python, which is crazy if you think about it, because I'm like, I breed ball pythons and stuff. Right before I get into the box, so I promise we're gonna get right into this box, but I just wanted to talk about what I did here, which is take my own advice going forward if, you, is if you're just getting started in the hobby. This is the advice that I, that I give people. I kind of did a reset. Well, I, I didn't reset. I kept all the snakes that I already had that I was working with before I learned the advice that I would have given myself back then. And now I'm applying that advice right here, right now. So I have a bunch of girls that I've been raising up for the last couple years waiting to find the right male. I've literally been on Morph Market looking at these specific genes that I knew I wanted in this snake. I was like, I want this gene, I want this gene, I want this gene, I want this gene, and I want them all in the same male so I can have that powerhouse male. Like I say, go spend a bunch of money on some females, raise them up, and then spend the same amount of money on a male. So that's exactly what I've done here. And... <laughs> yeah, let's just open this snake. Whoop. Whoop. Got some pictures, got some stickers, got a thank you note, got an invoice paid. I'm not gonna show you guys how much it was. Just know that it was the most expensive snake I've ever purchased here. There's a heat pack even. I personally wouldn't put a heat pack, but there you go, stickers. I've, I've got these stickers already, but there they are. All the snakes that JKR produced. Signed card from Justin. We got a poopy. It's a poopy snake. Maybe pee pee poopy, pee pee poo poo. Oh, they do the same technique I do though, where you just put the thing around the top thing and you just kind of do a little pop. And this <laughs> rubber band comes flying right off. Oh man, I might have to go wash this snake up for you guys real quick before we take it out and show it to you because yeah, there's the, the snakes. Oh, but it did just have a fresh shed. Maybe we'll spoil the bag, see how poopy it really is. But there's definitely, you know what, that's not shed. That's just a paper towel to soak up a uh, poop. <laughs> Disgusting, oh man. We're off to a good start. Oh, look at that snake. Yeah, but there is poop in there. You guys wanna see all the poop and everything come out of the bag? Come on, this is real, this is real. Poop. Oh yeah, look at that poop. Oh, that's what you want to see come out with the snake is poop. <laughs> There's actually poop on the snake. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go wash the snake off real quick, and we'll we'll. <laughs> this is a reality of unboxing. Sometimes snakes come with poop. You know, it's just it's a possibility. It doesn't smell so great. Oh, bleh. I still smells a little bit, but that's probably the bag sitting in the room still. Check this snake out. Whew, this thing looks better in person than it does in a picture, which is probably true of a lot of snakes, but it literally looks way better in person than it does in a picture. I am promise I'm going to show you guys every little detail of this snake. Belly, head stamp, whole snake, the patterns. We got some beautiful shots coming up.
Now, as I mentioned, when I was looking for this snake, I was searching and searching and searching through Morph Market and just looking at different jeans. I, I'd been talking with Justin for a while about the jeans that I was looking for in a snake. There is one jean missing from this snake that I would have liked to have in the snake as well, but I actually have females that have that gene in them, which is it's yellow belly. And if, if I bred yellow belly to yellow belly, then you're gonna get ivories anyway. So it's probably a, a good thing that didn't go with the yellow belly on this one because then I couldn't make snakes that are just single gene yellow belly, which is what you want. You know, you don't want an ivory with your clown. I don't, I wanna see all that pattern, all the amazingness, the ivory's gonna cover it up. I'm not gonna tell you guys the genes that are in this snake, but I would love for you guys to go down in the comments and guess some of you probably go, if you're on Patreon, do not go down there and guess because you guys already know what this snake is, but it, you got no cheating, no going in there, ruin it for everybody else that doesn't, doesn't know. See if you can guess what genes are in this snake. I, I will admit, so I, I told Justin the genes I wanted and he told me some different snakes that he had. He didn't have up on Morph Market, didn't have listed anywhere. When he told me what genes were in this clown, I, I when he told me what genes, I just said clown too. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious that it's a clown. What I saw when he sent the pictures were not what I was imagining at all when I mentioned the genes. Now, this is obviously okay with me because these are the genes I wanted. They're, they're specific genes I wanted in a single snake to move forward with the projects based on the females I have. Um, but I, I did, I had, to, I had to question him. I was like, I was like, how are you seeing this gene in that snake? And how are you seeing that gene in that snake? And I, trust me, I felt like a bit of an idiot questioning Justin Gabilka on you know, whether or not a snake had certain genes or not. I did end up telling him like, well, if you say they're in there, I believe you. I trust you, believe you, trust you. My point is that I was somewhat underwhelmed by, by the, how the snake looked visually, but that's okay because I know that these genes are the genes I want in these certain projects and that I'm gonna use him for. His job, in my eyes, is not to be the most visually stunning snake. In fact, if this guy was actually ivory as well as all the other genes going on in here, that would be great. It would just look like, it, you know, it'd be, all the pattern would be washed out, but every snake bred to would be yellow belly if he was an ivory. So my point, again, is that if you have a powerhouse male, you're not necessarily looking for the end result in that snake. You're not like, I want to make a bunch of this guy. What you want to do is, is take the genes he has and pair them with the other genes that are out there and make what you're hoping to make that maybe nobody's made. My, it's actually my understanding, Justin said that, uh, I think this is the first of one of these snakes in particular that's been produced. And the only way he was able to tell what genes were in it actually was because he had produced some other ones that have been the first ones ever produced <laughs> that he was comparing him with. And uh, again, I'm just, you know, I, be I believe him, I trust him. But again, leave comments down below, see if you guys can guess. Here goes little home slice into his little home life place. Mm, going into that quarantine tub. La 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 la. Have fun, buddy. Stay nice and toasty in there. Uh, this quarantine closet space is like got all kinds of stuff flying around here. We don't want to see that again, do we? <laughs> if you guys are wondering, my face is a little bit fatter than the end of last video, it's because I actually recorded this video before I recorded the end of the last video, and also last night I, I snuck into the whiskey a little bit, just a little bit. Don't tell Hillary, don't tell her. She's not supposed to know. Okay, good. Counting on you guys. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Thank you for joining us for the unboxing. Thank you for joining us for the unboxing. Bye.